This lesson is called, Can I Explain How and Why We Fractionally Distill Crude Oil? So in the last lesson, we looked at what crude oil was, the fact that we have to get it out of the ground, the fact that it's a finite resource. Um, but when we get it out of the ground, it's just a mixture of hydrocarbons. And to be anything useful, we need to separate it into fractions. We'll learn more about what fractions are in this lesson. But first and foremost, do the remember task on this page and the next page. Then have a look at the answers. When you're thinking about definitions, it has to be a science chemistry understanding. So if you look online and it gives a couple of definitions for each word, look for the one which has something to do with chemistry. Exam question. Um, still reminding you about what you did last lesson. Fill in the missing words um, and decide which is the formula for butane. Again, the answers will be on the next slide. Check all your answers. Correct anything you need to in red and then move on. These are the properties of hydrocarbons. You've got to know them. Look at them all. Have a look at the pictures at the bottom because as the hydrocarbons get bigger, the state changes from gas to liquid to solid. As the chain length gets longer, it gets harder and harder to pour. Gas is easier to pour than a liquid. Liquid is easier to pour than a solid. It's less easy to catch fire to. If you set fire to, with a match to the gas that comes out of the gas tap, it's easy. If you try um, setting fire to the tire on the road, yeah, you can do it, but you need a flamethrower. Okay, how volatile is it? How easy will it vaporize from a liquid to a gas? Well, if it's a gas already, it's going to be nice and easy. And if it's the substance is entire, you can get it to do that but you've got to put an awful lot of heat into it before you can get tar to vaporize. And the boiling point, that's the same sort of thing. It's gas is already boiled, liquid boils quite easily compared to a solid, and solid will boil at a higher temperature. You need to know these words. The words are viscous, flammable, volatile, and boiling point. Make sure you write them down with the definition and then move on. This is an opportunity to see what you've learned so far. Look at the heavy crude and the light crude. Decide which is most viscous, will it be A or B? Which is most volatile? Which is most flammable? And which has the greatest amounts of solid in? All the answers are A or B. Give it a go and see how you get on. After watching the video, there'd be a diagram for a fractionation column to the label. All the information in this video will be useful for you to answer questions both in this presentation, the assessment which follows, and next year or when you're doing your GCSEs. This is a label, the diagram. All the arrows need labels. Add them on. See how you got on on the next page. The page has the picture with labels in. They're not, it's not exactly the same because you need to be able to compare things. Look at it and think, what did I know already? How can I apply this in a different situation? As always, check your labeling, do your corrections in red, write them down. All the things which were, all the questions which were on the video, a couple of slides back, go back if necessary and have another look so you're certain of what you're doing. Have a look as the sign appears, it talks about the NAPFA fraction. It's uh, all the things you can make from it are there. So just because you haven't heard of it doesn't mean it's not useful. So you've labeled the So you've labeled the diagram. 
Now, you'll have the fractions in the correct order, starting with gas at the top, working down to bitumen at the bottom. The uses, however, are not in the right order. So you need to match up a fraction and a use. The answers will be on the next slide and there won't be any audio. See how you get on. When you're watching the video, you will need to answer the questions. Whether you watch the video all the way through, then stop and answer the questions, or if you pause it, you should go through, totally up to you. Check the answers on the next slide. The scientist said in the video that there were three fractions in his mixture. So every time he changed the test tube, that was because no more of that particular fraction was boiling, evaporating, condensing, and collecting in his test tube. So he changed it for another test tube. This shows you that if he was having to change it and then he got a new fraction, it must have been at a higher temperature each time because the hydrocarbons which make up that fraction all had longer um, chains than the previous fraction. For the four questions you have, the key idea has been underlined. When you're writing answers, try never to use words like it or that or the thing. Be precise in what you're talking about. Then you'll get full marks. Once you've done this, go on to the next slide. the names of pieces of equipment is also important. You might be asked this in an exam question. It's an easy mark if you know which bit is a thermometer, which bit is a boiling tube, which bit is a Bunsen burner. So for this slide, label all the names. Check on the next slide. There will be a no audio on the next slide, but it is very important, as it says on the next slide, that you learn the names of the pieces of equipment. Okay, on this slide, you need to answer two exam questions. You need to say three things about how these all is separated from crude oil by fractional distillation. Part B, diesel is a mixture of alkanes. You need to say what an alkane is. To get all the marks, you've got to say not only what it's made of, but how it's held together. See how you get on. The answers will be on the next page. Check your answers. Check your answers. Key ideas are it's evaporated, it's condensed, and this happens at different temperatures at different fractions. Part B alkanes are hydrocarbons made of only hydrogen and carbon. They're saturated, have only single carbon-carbon bonds. If you don't like writing, you could have just written that formula, the famous one from the last lesson, CnH2n plus 2. Just write that down, you get both the marks. How did you get on? As always, do your corrections in red. You've arrived at the... We've arrived at the last slide before the assessment. By the end of this presentation, this is now, you should be able to explain how and why we fractionally distill crude oil. If you can't do it, there's three more videos for you to watch. In each case, you just click on a video, probably go for expand so you get the whole page, write some more notes. If you're absolutely certain you can answer the driving questions, then of course, go on and do the assessment.